and welcome to this session of Art Apart, um, where we're going to be focusing on drawing uh, cartoon animals. Uh, my name's Barney, I'm an illustrator, and one of the things that I um, like to do most is drawing uh, kind of surreal animals. Um, here are a few examples of some of the things that I've drawn. Um, on we have a, we have a flamingo uh, there on a bike. We have a llama inside a banana. Uh, we have a ram uh, with lots of bling on it. Um, and we have a capybara, the, you know those large rodents from South America, inside a carbonara, and a gnu inside some glue, uh, a yawning fawn, and uh, and a dandelion, kind of yeah, a lion with a sort of dandelion thing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to draw three different animals today. Uh, we're going to do a giraffe, a tortoise and a fish. So what you'll need for the drawing workshop is very much the basics. Um, paper or notepad or an art pad, pencil, pen, rubber and colouring pencils. Um, so I thought we'd start off with the giraffe. Um, and uh, so the way I would normally draw um, a cartoonish animal is I would start with the eyes, just use that as the basis point. Um, so it's just a case of drawing a circle and a dot anywhere where for the pupil. Um, it's often easier with these um, beasts to draw them side on, sort of profile style. Um, and so, yeah, so I would then kind of create a line down here that would create a kind of silly nose face for the giraffe there um, and then on top of the eye I'm going to add these little things horns that they have they use for fighting called ozicones um, I always think that's such a great word uh, and then a swooping uh, movement for the ear like so um, and now onto the the long neck which goes down in a sort of very yeah, smooth, a smooth journey down there um, and then the other side kind of following suit and uh, it doesn't matter whether it's entirely accurate or, or not it's a kind of nice circular for this I'm just going to draw his, his legs as just um, endless legs here and swooping down um, and then adding a little tail. I believe they've got ones uh, like this style. Um, and then also the um, adding the the prints on the uh, the markings onto the giraffe. So these can be added anywhere. Um, so the giraffe is the world's tallest mammal, and uh, but however his neck's not long enough to actually um, reach the ground. So. They have to awkwardly manoeuvre if they want to pick up something from from down, yeah, from down on the on the um, plains. He, um, kind of like when camels do that thing where they sort of um, move about like a, in a strange way to pee. So um, there we have uh, a little giraffe. I'm just going to add a little eyebrow on. Heep. Um, and next of all. Um, we can draw the tortoise. Um, so I'd draw, maybe we can maybe have him facing towards towards the giraffe as well. Um, so again, starting with the eye, and and then uh, maybe some lips coming off the eye. Just trying to imagine tortoise's lips. Boop. Um, and then a kind of funky little neck that comes down like so, and then we're going to do a semicircle up the way for his shell and bring it back down and across and then we can do a little lip to this shell so it kind of looks looks a bit like a spaceship or something um, and then uh, two little legs which is just basically little U shapes would, would do it um, and then he also has uh, scales on the shell which are apparently known as scoots, um, which kind of go like this, but you can just draw any pattern you like on here. And I learned from the internet today that a group of tortoises together is called a 
creep of tortoises. So there we there we have it. Um, oh, um, and then finally um, we can maybe in this little section here we can draw a little fish, um, which is nice and nice and simple too. Um, so again, starting off with the eye, and then maybe similar lips to the tortoise, beep, and a nice swooping semicircle like this, um, and then a little triangle at the end, and a bit of detailing, and um, fins and gills. The fins are like so, and also the gills going to help it get some oxygen from the sea. Um, and uh, little bubbles here. And I saw that fish, uh, tuna fish, can swim up to 40 miles an hour plus, I think. So, which is kind of uh, interesting because that's the same as the maximum speed for good goods vehicles in Scotland on the single carriageways. Um, and there we have it. So we have our three um, beasts. And now we can draw around them in pen um, and then add pencil, coloured pencil uh, detailing to it. Um, I've got a selection of colouring pencils, but I'm not sure what colours are the right colours, but I'm just going to mix and match and make them kind of fantasy style. Um, but I'm going to do this uh, using a time lapse just to speed things up a little bit. And there we have our three cartoon animals. If you'd like the challenge to try and draw another animal using the same style, using the same technique, um, yeah, uh, that'd be great. Thank you for joining in and, um, and stay safe and sane until next time. See you.